What's up everyone? Enjoying this fine Saturday evening outside skating and I'm just going to be hanging out today vlogging and uh, just skating so let's go skate. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So I already got a battle wound today. Skating with the camera is not the easiest thing to do. So I'm, I'm gonna show you guys here what it looks like. And um, it, it doesn't feel the greatest. It was actually on the concrete, not the asphalt this time. Yeah, it burns. You know, my first time falling is actually a really funny story. I was on the phone with Dylan he was asking me to go fishing and I, I was the dummy who called him and decided to skate at the same time while I was on the phone with him and I hit a crack and I was actually on a penny board not a long board and um, I hit a crack and <laughs> fell right on the ground I still stayed on the phone but I was like oh crap I just fell and Dylan didn't even know it didn't even ask if I was okay what a great brother he is I'm just kidding yeah I haven't fallen too many times but I do have some of my own battle wounds already just doing this for the next uh for the past few weeks and um learning not how not to fall or how to fall correctly but hopefully not falling that much but it is a part of skating so uh yeah got my first battle wound for today Seriously, gonna try this? Yeah. There's yeah. a whole pile of dirt there. Like you're I know. gonna die. There's one small spot here, know. right here, uh, that uh, I can make it through. I mean, these are some pretty deep tire tracks from like cars. But it's drier now. I mean, I've done dumber things. That's true. That's a good point. I don't know. I don't think you're gonna be able to make it, but you know, you can do what you want. Yeah. God my gives us free will. <laughs> I broke my knee last year. True. And it's not going to hurt as bad. Well, it's I'm not fine. taking you to the hospital because you don't. That's all right. I'll walk it off for a week like I did last time. It's not a good idea. But, you know, it's your life. Yeah. Okay. So, Mikey is at the top of the hill right now. And I'm about to witness his death. So, if you'd like to join me, check this out. Um, he thinks he's going to do really good. I don't know if he's going to make it. So, we'll see. All right. So, I'm on top of the hill. And, uh. A lot higher up here than I expected. Still gonna do it. We're, I'm not not chicken in and out. We're gonna do it. You know how out of breath I am from trying to get up here. But uh, we're gonna do it. Hopefully I don't wreck. Um, but you guys are gonna see. You're gonna see firsthand. So um, let's do it. stand corrected um, he's still alive he made it through the dirt and I just I guess I'm a terrible girlfriend who doesn't believe in him but he made it so yay well that was a pretty fun day um, besides uh, scraping up my knee and almost dying on the hill it was a very very nice day it was a good day to to go skating and and hang out i think it's so nice to just be able to enjoy god's creation and uh just um think about all of the gifts that he's given us and and, and how personal he is to us you know sometimes we obviously we don't physically hear god speaking to us but we can see god and in, in all of his creation including us and um most importantly in his son jesus and I wanted to, I guess, spread some positivity today and um, just talk about talk about Jesus. And there's one specific passage of scripture. There's one verse that um, during this time of quarantine that we've been having to just stay in our homes and things like that, um, that I've I've been thinking about. And um, I, I heard 
talked about is uh, John 11:35, and it's it's simply this: Jesus wept. And that I know that verse. Obviously, a lot of us know that that that's the shortest verse in the Bible, and um, it's so much more powerful than what we we really think it is. It it means so much more than what I had previously thought it meant to be. So we know the story of when Jesus cried, when Jesus wept, was uh, when his best friend Lazarus died. And um, the story, we always look at it in some ways of Jesus' authority. Of He talks to the people, Mary and all them who are crying and hysterical about Lazarus dying, and saying, Jesus, why, why weren't you here? Why, why didn't you come save Lazarus before he died? Like, if you would have just got here earlier, he would have he been here. He wouldn't have died. And, we see that Jesus waited so he could show the power of the Son. It was another another sign of him being the Messiah and him being the Savior of the world. And But it's interesting. And you, ask, you have to ask the question, if Jesus knew what he was going to do, why, why did he cry? Why did he cry? He is God. He knew exactly what was going to happen. He knew that he was going to bring Lazarus back from the dead. But why, why did he cry? And if you think about it, everyone else around him was crying. Jesus was empathetic towards them. He was present there in their pain. He wasn't just trying to fix them. He wasn't there being a jerk saying, hey, I got this. Leave me alone. I'm going to fix this. But he was there crying with them, being with them. And, and that's the same thing with us is we know that Jesus went through the same temptations. He went, he dealt with the same sadness that we've dealt with. He, he's dealt with the same hunger or thirst or everything that a human being deals with. He's been happy and joyful, scared. A lot of times we think of Jesus as being like this robot that doesn't get us, but he does. And knowing that he came to this earth, died for my sins, died for your sins, he was the ultimate sacrifice, the only thing that would make us look clean, make us look perfect in God's eyes. His blood made us white as snow, and him defeating death just proved even more that he was a worthy sacrifice because he defeated sin, he defeated death. Sin is that thing that separates us. It's that thing that haunts us our whole lives. But I want everyone who's watching this to know that Jesus is with you in the present moment. He's there walking with you. Will you see him? Will you see him for who he is? He is the Son of God. He is our Savior. He is our friend. And I hope that's encouraging to you that if you feel alone right now, you're not. Jesus is with you. You just have to look for him, see him. And like I talked about, we can see God in all this creation. We can see how beautiful he made this for us. But even more importantly, how beautiful his love is for us, even when we feel like it's not there. So I want to pray for everyone. and. I just hope if you're watching this, you're encouraged and um, maybe you found out that Jesus is so madly in love with you, he gave his life for you. And if you want to spend eternity in heaven with God and with Jesus for eternity, and you want to know how to do that, it's as simple as this. Giving your life to Jesus. Praying and confessing, knowing that there's something wrong with you, something wrong with all of us. Romans 3.23, we all fall short of God's glory standard. We all have this thing called sin that, that separates us from God, that makes us not perfect. And that's why we need Jesus. Believing and following Him is what makes us righteous in God's eyes. His sacrifice, His blood atones for the sins that we we commit. It's that forgiveness. It's that grace. It's that gift that we don't deserve, but God gave it to us anyways. He fixed our problem that we can't fix on our own. And so just follow Him. Believe in Him. Pray to Him. Live your life for Him. And see how much joy and how much peace you have in your life. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. And um, we'll be here next week hanging out, skating again, probably. And um, I can't wait to just hang out with you all again. So have a good evening. Have a good Saturday. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.